Hello everyone, Dr. Carlo Ojed. I wanted to take this video and make a video commentary about the video posted by ASEP, American College of Emergency Physicians. The title of the video is about liberal use of oxygen associated with worse outcomes among critically ill patients. Now we've done this before, but I thought the video really put a good picture to it, where not everything that's good, it's good. <laughs> so some things that are good, like putting people on oxygen, can potentially be bad. And too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. So let's see what this video has to tell us about liberal use of oxygen and worse outcomes. Oxygen has been increasingly administered to acutely ill patients. Although adequate oxygen therapy is essential to treat low oxygen or hypoxemia, excessive oxygen can cause a number of problems, including inflammatory cytokine production, Absorption atelectasis. Actually, it's been shown that putting persons on high flow oxygen within six, seven minutes, they get atelectasis, pain with breathing. They actually feel short of breath. It can cause acute lung injury, reduce cardiac output, cerebral and coronary vasoconstriction. That means less flow going to your brain and coronaries, and central nervous system toxicity. It is important to understand the potential risks and benefits of oxygen therapy for the acutely ill patient. This systematic review a meta-analysis of 16,000 patients found that liberal oxygen therapy was associated with an increased risk of mortality in the hospital at 30 days and longer follow-up. For every 1% increase in pulse oximetry, that means from 91 to 92, from 92 to 93, there is a 25% increase in relative risk of in-hospital mortality. I mean, that is huge, right? 25%. And a 17% increase in the relative risk of mortality at long follow-up. There is no difference in morbidity outcomes. Uh, that means worsening stability after acute stroke, development of hospital acquired infections. Although previously small studies have suggested that oxygen supplementation may improve outcomes in patients with acute stroke, the current meta-analysis provides stronger evidence suggesting no significant benefit. The take-home message is this. Compared with conservative oxygen therapy, liberal Oxygen therapy is associated with increased mortality without improving outcomes. So, like it says in that video, share this video. Uh, the ASIP, American College of Emergency Physicians, really wants us to share this with you so that you know that uh, putting patients on oxygen as a reflex without thinking of how they're already oxygenating can actually increase the mortality. Like you saw, even a 1% increase. They're 92, 93, and you give them oxygen, now they're 95. You may be increasing their mortality risk by a whole lot. So don't do it. Think twice. I hope you learned this video. I certainly did. It reminded me of a lot of stuff, and I'm better prepared for the next patient with chest pain or STEMI with normal oxygen to not put them on supplemental oxygen. Thank you. Please take a minute and consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell.